my name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today I wanted to share with you a little gift that I created for my daughters for the holidays. And I thought it was something that some of you may be interested in as well. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen the photos of the Chanel makeup bags being turned into purses. I believe those already came with little clips on them and basically you just had to buy a little strap. So I wanted to turn the Lisa Eldridge makeup bag into a handbag. Now, these do not come with a hook. So I'm just gonna show you real quickly how I did this, but my daughters really wanted to get the Lisa Eldridge uh, bags for Christmas. They particularly wanted the floral ones, but I did. I only have two of those and I wanted one. So uh, I decided to go with the red because I do have three of the red bags. So they, the big thing was they wanted to match. So we're all going to get a Lisa Eldridge velvet handbag for Christmas. Now, one thing I want to know, I chose this metal chain and unless you have stuff, you know, weighting it down in here, this will flip because uh, the placement of the clip is below the halfway point here. So, you know, you might want to go with a lighter handle if you don't plan on carrying much in there. You know, once you have it on and here, I'll show you like it's, it's not going to, like if you put it on the right way, it's not going to stay flipped. It'll turn, you know, it's the right way. But when you are putting it on, it will flip on its own if you don't have something in there. So let me show you the Lisa Eldridge bag. So we've got velvet on the outside. The inside is canvas. These are, you know, essentially two separate layers here. And again, there's no clip. You could technically clip something small onto the handle here, but there's nothing for the other side. So I decided I wanted to add in my own little clips. And so I just bought a couple things off of Amazon and I will leave the ones that I used down below, but there are so many different kinds. You know, I picked some small ones because I didn't want any to stick out too much, but there are definitely some larger ones, some that look a little different, you know, if you want a specific decorative style. There are tons and tons of different purse straps. One of the ones I considered was like all like fake pearls, which I thought the girls would like, but I ended up going with the gold because it matches Lisa's logo and the zipper so well. So first up, we have to take the bag and we need to put in the clip. So this is the clip that I purchased and this came in a pack of six. So it's enough to do three bags and you can see you just have a screw here. So you need a tiny screwdriver and this is a the plus or the Phillips head screwdriver and you just want to unscrew it. So now you have this separated. This part will go on the inside. This will be on the outside. Now this does lift out just so you know. So it won't lift out once you have it screwed in, but when it is apart, it does come apart here. So then what I did was I wanted a small point. So I decided to take this paring knife here and I tried it with scissors, but they were like a little bit too big. I didn't trust myself to get a small enough hole. And then I looked at like different skewers and things that I have, but they were just a little bit too wide in diameter. So I decided a sharp paring knife would work best. So then you just wanna make a little hole about where you want the center of your clip to be. So with the Lisa Eldridge bag, you can see you've got this like folded trim here. I wanna make sure that my hole is right below that trim so that that way, you know, it's not too bulky where I'm trying to get the screw in. So I'm going just about here. I'm just gonna stab it through. And I stabbed it to the point where I have a little pinpoint hole through the velvet but it hasn't gone all the way through the canvas yet. So now I'm just gonna go a little bit slower and kind of just work my way through it. And I have a very tiny hole on this side now. I don't wanna make it larger than that because I don't wanna have a large hole and run the risk of, you know, having a hard time putting this on. I have to say I did mess up on one of them. I just sewed it back and it was fine. But now I'm gonna take the side with the screw and I'm going to find my hole on the canvas and I'm just gonna slowly work it through and make the hole big enough for the actual screw. So here you can see my little knife point going through. 
So I can find that. And then I just stick the screw part into it. And I just kind of have to play with my nails here. Let me show you. So I kind of have to stretch both the canvas part and the velvet part. So now that I can feel that it's kind of gone through the canvas a little bit, I'm just, I keep pulling the fabric on both sides around the screw to kind of just kind of stretch that a little bit. So you can see the screw starting to peek through. So I'm just kind of pulling, I'm using my nails here to pull the fabric down a little bit further around the screw. We're almost done. It's a shallow screw, so you don't have to go super far. Okay, so my screw is here, and now I just wanna place my hook on top, and I'm gonna go to the inside here and just screw it in. Just make sure that's nice and tight. Look at the front, make sure it's straight. If it's not, I can you know loosen it and straighten it out a little bit. And here's my little hook. And then I do the same thing to the other side. So if your hole is a little tight, you can just kind of take your screwdriver and just stretch it a little bit like this first. If you really want to make sure that, you know, it's really easy and doesn't take long, but also it doesn't get too big. This seems to be a good diameter. All right, so now I have both of my hooks on there nicely. They're nice and tight. No pulling off or anything. And all I have to do is attach the chain. And the chains I purchased, you know, just have the little clip. So clip it on both sides and there we go. Your very own Lisa Eldridge handbag. So I just thought this was a really nice way to use up some of those more attractive makeup bags that I personally have just sitting in the closet. I have a huge collection of makeup bags that, you know, I'm, I'm just not using. I, <laughs> realistically right now, I'm not using any makeup bags anywhere, but typically I might have one like in my purse or a gym bag. And then otherwise I don't really use them unless I'm traveling. And I have so many beautiful ones like the ones from Lisa Eldridge. And this is a great little holiday bag. You know, you've got the gold and the red. It's beautiful, it's velvet. So I thought this was a great way to kind of repurpose it and give it something else to do. So, you know, this is a good size to hold, you know, your phone, some makeup, you know, wallet, depending on the size of your wallet. <laughs> so I just thought it was a nice way to repurpose these that didn't cost too much and maybe I'll actually use them more. So I hope this was helpful and I will let you guys know what my daughters think. I think they'll be very excited to see these on Christmas. And you know, cause the big thing for them is they wanted these velvet bags, but they wanted us all to match. So I think they'll be very happy to see these as purses. So please let me know down below what you think. And if you found this interesting, I would really appreciate it if you could give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. So again, please let me know if you've done this before or if you found this interesting. I would love to hear your feedback on this. And thanks so much. Have a great day and stay safe and healthy. Thank you.